A recent survey looked at the most significant advances in health care in the past hundred years, and there were numerous answers, most of them predictable. For instance, high-tech machinery like CAT scans and MRIs were mentioned. The development of various antibiotics and medications to treat high blood pressure were listed. All are good choices, but certain things did not make the list, probably because they were not so obvious. The first was suggested by former Surgeon General C. Everett Koop. When asked about the greatest invention in his long medical life, he said, plastic. But think about being in a hospital with glass tubing for your glass IV and not having plastic. The other suggestion was the increased importance of studies on women that involve women. For many years, women were not part of studies. Even when there was an illness that affected both men and women, men were studied and the results were applied to women. So we just didn't know that much about how medications and different treatments affected women. Today, there are specific studies, dozens of them applying to women. Whether it's breast cancer or the importance of exercise, women are analyzed just as closely as men. The reasons why this is so important are numerous. The truth is, men and women have many medical differences, and the study of these subtle differences can lead to major developments in health care. I'm Dr. Brian McDonough.